Hello my beautiful people. Today we take the first step in the CSGO external series. Here we set the base of what in the future will be an aimbot, ESP, how to build and more. Since I know you guys like easy stuff, I've made a template especially for you to use. This template contains the SWED32 library and some sample code to test out. Before we get to any of that, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss the next part in the series. Alright, so let's get this template. Now, the link for it will be in the description, so just click on that and it will take you, take you to this GitHub page. Now, at this GitHub page, click on the green code button and then download zip. Once that's done, we'll extract it somewhere. I will use the desktop. So, once it's extracted, we'll open the template that solution. And here I will have written a code for you to use. So, we have a simple application here. We use the SVED library, which is in this class. So, we have all of the needed stuff for reading and writing memory. We have read pointer, we have read bytes, we have write bytes as well. So if you want to learn how to make your own, you can just analyze this or watch my other video on, on that. Uh, but enough of that, minimize that. We use the SWED class, we get to process CSGO. Here is how you get the base address for the client and the engine. If we wanted to get our player self, the local player self, we would get or use the local player address and add the health offset to that. So these addresses and offsets will, or the address will be, probably be outdated by the time you watch this video since CSGO has updates. But to avoid that we will use haste dumper for this one for, for this time. In later tutorials we will find the addresses and so on ourselves so it's only this one. But search for the variable uh, EV um, for the local player copy paste and for the same width M underscore i i health up to the back. there you go professional paster so we have the local player zone we read the pointer of the client and the local player after that we just read the health offset in our loop here so we print out the player health with this, you can just write whatever other stuff you want, bhop, aimbot, wallhack, everything you can just write on top of this. So that's why we will use this template. Now, when we go into Steam, right click on Counter-Strike Global Offensive, add dash insecure to disable VAC. I've mentioned this too many times. Er, you won't get banned if you're using Dash Insecure in CSGO. Once the game starts, we will get a message which uh, says that we're in insecure mode. There you go, Valve on the sheet. This means we're safe to use for pro pro programs. Go into a practice match with bots. Uh, let's just pick a random map. All right, start program. Now it returns zero. That would be if 
there is an error or if our character isn't alive. Probably our character, but if it wouldn't be, it might be that we're not running it further to bit. So uh, on the build, use 86 since it's 32 bit. Now let's start it again. 100. There you go. So check it. Check in. Insertion point. 100 health. Clear. Do you take damage on this? Oh, yeah, you do. 99. Yes. 98. 97. Roger that. Could you so, help? we're reading our player self. We don't have a sleep statement in between, so it devours our CPU usage if you take a look to the And this should be enough to get you started. Uh, for the next tutorial, I think it would would be B hop or aimbot or wall hack, one of them. But I will see you guys then. Have a good one. Clear the area!